Hey guys, what is up? Inspire here. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to install Hive OS on an SSD. Um, so these are the things that you are going to need. So all you need is just a SSD and also a USB to SATA connector. I'm just going to quickly um, unpack the um, SSD and then I'll show you what it all looks like, okay? Okay, so this is just a standard 2.5 SSD. Um, this has, I think, 120 gigabytes, and this is by Kingston. So it's just a standard SSD drive, as you, as you can see, okay? Okay, so to install the Hive OS or to burn the Hive OS onto SSD card, you need this little adapter or this cable. Um, this cable is the cable that you connect into your PC and your SSD. So you can see here, this is just the normal USB here, USB 3, and then you have a SD connector adapter that's, that looks like this, okay? I'm going to quickly show you how to connect it together, and then we can just plug it into our computer. Okay, so here's the SSD and here's the connector. All you need to do is just plug it in like this. Plug it in. And then now you get this side of this cable and you plug it into um, the, your computer, okay? So this is the USB. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this USB into the my keyboard on the side here and just get it all plugged in and get it ready to burn the Hive OS, okay? Well, that's all you have to do, just plug it in and then just let the computer read it and then we can jump onto um, the website to download the image and download the actual writer to write the image onto the SSD. Okay, without further ado, let's jump onto the computer and download the images and get it all installed. Okay, so before we start, we need to go and make an account on Hive OS and also download the actual image to burn onto our SSD drive. So first off, you, um, to sign up, all you need to do is come over here, click sign in. Um, once you click sign in, you'll be able to, to register an account. Once you make your account, you'll be able to log in to Hive OS and this, and this is what it will look like. All right, so when you come into here, this is what Hive OS will look like when you've created a farm, okay? Um, so I have two farms here. I have my main farm and my testing farm. So this is my test farm here. I'm gonna show you how to create a worker so you can put that onto the SSD. Before we start, let's create a worker um, before we download the, the software <clears throat> and burn it onto the SSD. So to add a worker, all you can do is here, if it's your first time, you can click here to add a rig. Um, if you don't see this screen, then you can always come up to this plus at the top. You click on the plus and click add worker. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly add a worker and we can go from there. <clears throat> so once you click on add a worker, this little screen pops up, pops up. Um, all you need to do is just name your rig. I'm just gonna quickly name it as Inspire Test Rig. Okay, so that's the name. You can enter your own password or just generate a random one. I'm just gonna generate a random one there and click here, add worker. So once you add your worker, you can see that this is a screen here. You can't see anything yet, but other than um, your farm hash rate, your rig ID and your rig password. Um, the easiest way to do this is just to download the rig config. Um, all you need to do is just click here and then download it and save it onto your desktop. Okay, so rig config is now saved onto your desktop. Um, we will need that to copy that onto the SSD. Um, later on, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so once you have done your desktop now we can go into and download Hive OS from the website. Okay, okay so now we're back at Hive OS's website um, I'm going to drop the link in the description below. It's going to be like a referral program for Hive OS um, It's going to be referred to my link. Um, if you want to use that, that's great. If not, you can just come to Hive OS um, Hive OS's website and just download the actual image by itself. So first off, all you need to do is come up to the install tab, click on the install tab over here and it will bring you to the actual install. 
So once you click the install um, tab, you'll come onto this page and in this page you can select GPU and then click the zip button over here. Once you click the, click the zip button, you can save the image into your, your on your desktop or into your downloads folder wherever you, you have your settings saved to. I'm gonna quickly download this and then it will be saved into my downloads folder, okay? Okay, so once that is downloading, just leave it and let it download in the background. Um, or the next thing that you need to do now is download the actual software to write the image onto the SSD, okay? So we gotta quickly scroll down, just down, down about here, and where it says write um, GPU rig disk image, um, we'll need to download Etcher, okay? So all you need to do here now is click on this website or click on this link here and it'll bring you to the Etcher website to download the software. Okay, so now here we are, we're in um, Bellina Etcher. So this is the software that we need to use to write um, the image onto the SSD. So all you need to do now is download this and install this onto your computer. Since I have it already installed on my computer, I'm not gonna reinstall it again. Um, you can just download it and then install it and then open up the actual software and then and then install the image onto the SSD. All right, I'm gonna show you how to install or how, how you're going to flash the image now onto the SSD. Okay, so once the download has been downloaded and finished, all you need to do now is open up Etcher, um, the, the software that we just downloaded and installed. This is what Etcher looks like. Um, all you have to do now is just click flash from file and then select to, to select the Hive OS um, image that you've saved onto your desktop, okay? So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that. So all you do is click flash from file. Once you click flash from file, your folders will open up. All you need to do now is just search or look for the actual Hive OS um, image that you saved on your desktop. And then all you need to do is just click on that and click open. <clears throat> And then it will open up over here and then all you need to do now is select your target you want to select your ssd um so just quickly click on select target and here's the <clears throat> the actual ssd here the new device that i have that i have is the 120 gigabyte kingston um so yeah all you do now is click on that you select that don't select any other drives like your your c drive or your windows drive or any drive that you have make sure it's a new ssd and then you can flash that onto the new ssd so now you click that and then you click select and then you can change it if you click the wrong one but this is the right one so all i'm going to do now is click flash once i flash it um, it will start to install the the software onto the ssd okay let's go Well, you can see now that it's starting to flash. It's giving a ETA of about three minutes. So we just gotta wait and let it um, install and validate and then we can go from there, okay? So once the flashing is done, it's going to validate the disk now. So just let that run as well until it finishes. Okay, so the flash now is completed and it, and it was successful. Sometimes you might get an error saying that it wasn't um, successfully flashed. So you might have to repeat that step again and start um, reflashing your SSD, okay? So now once it's completed, we can actually close Etcher down because we don't need it no more and then open up the actual Hive OS. Sometimes when you open up your computer or your your PC where to look for the drives, the SSD is not um, not there, you know? So first thing that you have to do is just um, quickly unplug it and then plug it back in and it should come up, okay? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna quickly unplug my USB and then plug it back in and hopefully it should pop up. 
Okay, so the SSD actually popped up after I just plugged it back in. All you need to do now is open up the SSD and go back to your desktop where you saved the rig.config file. Yeah, you can copy it and then you can paste it into the actual SSD, okay? And that's it. Just unplug the SSD and plug it into your mining rig and then boot it up and see if it comes up in Hive OS. I'm going to quickly go put it on um, one of my computers and boot it up and see if it comes up. Okay, so once we've installed the software on the hard drive and we unplugged it and we plugged it into our mining rig, um, all you have to do now is just boot up that that mining ring and let it run and Hive OS should start up by itself. Um, so just to double check that our test rig has come up online, all I'm gonna do now is come back onto this page here, the page where we made our worker. All I'm gonna do now is press F5 and once I press F5, our miner or our worker should be up online, okay? So I'm gonna press F5 now. Okay, there you have it. Um, the miner's up and you, you can see that it's it was booted, it's up, and on 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 my mining rig, I have a Radeon HD 6970. It's a way old um, PC, but I'm I'm just going to use this as my mining rig. Um, it's like an old parts and whatever. I'm not going to use the graphics card, obviously, because I don't think it can mine anything. Um, but yeah, well, there you have it, guys. You know how to install Hive OS now and get the actual software installed and also how to use the software um, on the web to pull up um, your actual miner. So guys, thank you guys for dropping by. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also if you guys haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button and also click on that bell notification so you know when I post the next video, guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.